Yes, hello everyone and welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. Now, it's Mackham's versus Geordie's tonight. It might be a friendly, however this is a little bit different because Newcastle United have pinched three Sunderland players this season and they're all likely to play for the two in the night. Let's get going. We have arrived everybody, I call it the Hetton Centre because that's what I've known it as. I've actually been here, this is my third time, I've seen Manchester City women play here a couple of times. Right everybody, we are in Hetton Centre and I'm joined by... Joseph, hello! <laughs> He's alright? <laughs> I'm good, I. Good, good. Um, talk to me about the ticket issue because we were having a bit of a meltdown earlier, weren't we? No QR code, uh, tickets probably came to about what, 2 o'clock? Yeah. Maybe about 2 p.m., uh, which was well three, four hours before kickoff. Yeah, that was really panicky. And then when they came through, if you had an Android, you couldn't download it to your phone. Yeah, I'm wow. Android. Brilliant, happy days. If you were iPhone, oh, it's you got a QR code, you got all that sort of nice stuff. But then you got told you were seating in a place that's unreserved seating, and there's not really any seats. So, I and when you got here, the people are just laughing about it, like, oh, hi, hi, you got a fake ticket, you got a real ticket. So, well done, Sunderland. So George doesn't have a ticket tonight. No, I don't. I'm just <laughs> snooking over this fence over here. It's brilliant. I just jumped over. So I've got, don't worry about it. And I'm joined by... Hey, you're oh. Ellie. Hi, right, Nepal, how are you? Yeah, yeah, good. Thought I'd come down and see the local derby today. Yeah, do you reckon we're going to win this? I know it's a friendly, but is it really a friendly? Um, black and white? Well, I'll tell you what, there's plenty of black and white shirts. I can see that from here. Um, hopefully, you know, it's a, it's been a bit of a fresh start for the women, just as it has for the men. Team, you know, a great season last season. Promotion, a few new signings in the women's ranks as well. So, yeah. I know it's been a, um, a good pre-season, season starts soon, let's get a win here as well. Okay, so we have moved location just to get a better view for you guys, so hopefully I'll get some action for you. Oh. Mackhams have gone 1-0 up early on, the castle couldn't clear the free kick and it's 1-0 to the Mackhams. Come on, Potty. Come on. Come on. What? What, Potty? Oh, no. This might be one of the kind of wouldn't surprise us to see this. What? That's it. Come on. Come on. See ya. Oh, and that's all going on. Oh, oh it's no. the post. Oh. Well done, Anna! Come on, Anna! Back in, Anna! Oh. Sorry, Anna! Keep it up, lads! Come on! Sunderland have just scored an absolute peach of a goal. Ball's been given away. I think it might have been Poxy, but that's a great hit at the top corner. And Sunderland now lead. 2-0. Quick team meeting there on the pitch has been gathered. Sort the lasses out. I mean, they haven't been playing poorly. It's just a couple of individual mistakes and we're 2-0 doing. Go on, Pop Oh, Go on! Oh, 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 Well done, well done, well done, well done. Come on, Jazz, why not? Oh, oh. oh look at Jazz, man. That's a candy on sticks. But... Look at the size of the queue. This is Alpha Food. Different Albert Ease lot. This makes you burp like crazy. Pink lemonade, look at it. It is minging. 
The legend that is Colin Locke. You're mine. Ah! You know, I'll come and get you. How are you? Hi, how are you? Right, both sides are out for the second half. Big second half needed for Newcastle. Honestly, what's this? YouTube corner. Look how many YouTubers are here, man. Bloody hell, look at us all. Loving life. <laughs> Potty has just scored to make it 2 1. I do apologise, Charlotte, if you are watching, I missed a goal. I do apologise, but blame him. Blame him. Potty, come on! So I just had a header just go away. That could have been 3 1 there. Oh wow, a red card has happened, the second yellow I believe and I think it's Emma Kelly who we've just literally signed from Sunderland, that's not a nice return, the game has been a bit niggly, nobody's seen what happened there, I'm not really sure like, someone got sent off, so apologies, it was a straight red card, we just had a look on social media so yeah me that's it Sunderland have won it they've scored on the counter to make it 3-1 against 10 women Newcastle uh, for me I think that might be game over uh, four unmarked cross comes in side for Tom turning it or a bit of a horror show the second half after that red card but it's now 4-1 Oh, he's given it. Oh, that's surprising. Mind even I'm saying that as a Jody. I don't think that's a penalty, but he's given it. It's Becky Ferguson. What's it in? Four two. The referee blows for full time, and it's finished. Sunderland women four, Newcastle United women two, on this pre-season friendly. We win together, we lose together. Right, as Elvis belts out. He's a big fan of Elvis, I hear, Andrew. Who's, what's your favourite Elvis song? Oh, oh, shock up, oh, oh, oh. I like it. Um, bit feisty, that, wasn't it? Aye, I think there's been some pre-existing beef leading up to that red card there, but uh, I'm sure there'll be stuff coming out later. Enjoy the cello? Yeah, aye, good. I mean, the second half was looking great, and then obviously the red card changed the game, but... We're still kept in it, um, obviously league under them, but we're looking promising. And are you going to get yourself to more women games this season? Absolutely. I mean, me nana lives in Kingston Park anyway, so there's no reason for us not to be getting them all. So 100% I'll be getting them all. So Andrew's nana, if you're watching, he's coming to see the football. He doesn't love you. He's Whoa. using you. <laughs> She's just got us an air fryer, man. I couldn't love the woman more if I tried. Oh, he loves you a lot. He loves you a lot. <laughs> right, thank you very much. Joe. All right. Um... Yes, it's against uh, obviously rivals, but um, it's a good test for the night. Brilliant test for what I mean. We've seen a lot uh, to try and pull positives. Naomi Bedou, brilliant game. Potty, brilliant game. But we're going to learn things now. We're going to we're going to we definitely need some some improvement in when we go down. But it's been a good show, really good show. I've enjoyed it. Um, the lasses have improved a lot, and let's face it, Sunderland are a whole league above us. So. You know, it's 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 been all right. I do want to see what happened with Emma Kelly though, because I there's definitely something going on there. Something that's happened um, prior in the past seasons when they've been with Sunderland. But yeah, no, nah, fun time, enjoyable evening. Just wish it was a win. This happens. It is against tough opposition. Look, we're, we're battered West Brom, who are in the same league as we on the weekend, and this is a, against a side that is high above. But yes, the red card did influence the rest of the game because we were two one. Down at the time, we got a goal back. The momentum was with us. You mentioned obviously Emma Kelly there, who used to play at this ground and knows a lot of the Sunderland lasses. And um, a red card there, so we none of us seen it down here. But um, obviously, there's now 
coming up to the league season now and we'll have to see if that, um, if that is a violent conduct charge, whether she misses any games or not. I'm not sure on that, but um, is this squad ready now? I'd say so. I'd, I'd, I'd say there's a couple of areas where we do need to just maybe tweak it a little bit, get the passing that bit better, get that finishing done. And we're, But I think we're ready for the season. Chester Lee Street on Sunday, last challenge. I'm happy. I mean, I'm happy going away today. I think we are ready to go out and do well in this league coming up. Yeah. Back on the car now. Look, we got beat. I think the red card was a big thing, but it's against uh, a team that's playing in a higher league. You've got to remember, we've only just been promoted as well. But uh, it's a good test for Becky Langley's side. Um, I think we'll easily win on the weekend for the next friendly, but um, it's a good test tonight. It was a good test on Saturday, beating West Brom 3-0, who are on the same, same division as well. But... Local derby ends in defeat for the Magpie Lasses. But if you like the video, please do drop us a like. It's good fun tonight. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.